All right, first of all, you guys, thank you so much. Uh, congratulations on a stunning, stunning piece of work. Thank you. Um, I was curious what each of you thought, you know, why this story is so resonant and we still are talking about it years later. What is it about what happened with these bling ringers that people are so fascinated? I think the story is just as relevant today as it was when it actually happened because um, not is it just a statement about how stealing is bad and how you need to earn these things in order to properly attain them, but also um, this celebrity obsession. Mm. How people get so into celebrity these days and they feel like they're no, they, they feel like they know them personally. What with Twitter and Instagram and um, all these reality TV shows and people just take it to extreme lengths mm -hmm. and they just have this obsession that really just isn't okay and it's not natural and it's mm -hmm. not normal. And what aspect of this story resonated most with each of you? Because there are, it, it is definitely multi-layered. What I thought was really interesting hearing about um, Rachel, the actual girl, her reaction to being arrested was, um, you know, she asked, did you speak with any of the victims? And he said yes. And she goes, well, did you, did you talk to Lindsay? What did Lindsay say? And that really, I think, is so, um, I don't know, it kind of wakes you up. You're like, oh my God, this girl, she just got arrested. Instead of asking about plea deals or having a lawyer, she's, and this is what she's thinking she's about. She's concerned about what those girls still think about her. It's, um, it was, insane. I, th I think that was really sobering for me to Absolutely. learn about. I think when we look back over time, Sophia is going to be heralded as one of the best of our time. And if you could each kind of quickly just talk about what it means to you to look back and say that you appeared in one of her movies. I think she took a chance on me. Uh, would I say I deserve it? No. Um, but she was, she's a very gentle and genuine woman. She's very real. And I think that's what, it's, it's actually opposite. This, this film is opposite Sophia. Mm -hmm. uh, this movie's about, you know, celebrities and phoniness, you know. Uh, and I guess she just kind of sheds light and brings the truth to that. Uh, and how, you know, she, she can do that and get away with it, meaning she can do that and you still leave that theater not, not really judgment, um, but not really excitement. You know, it just kind of jerks your emotions around. And uh, so to to look back and say that I've worked with Sophia hmm. was definitely an experience, and I'm very, very proud of it. So yeah, same goes for all of us. I think. I yeah, it's just yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm really all honored be. that. Um, the first movie that I was I was really in, I was able to work with such an incredible, amazing, talented female director. Not just that she's a wonderful director, but also that she's a huge inspiration as a big female um, presence yeah. Yeah. in the industry and in, in Hollywood and in LA. And it's, um, I don't know, I really look up to her and she's really inspiring to me to do what I want to do and do it with strength and do it with conviction yeah. and just really work hard mm -hmm. to get what I want.